Okay, today I'm going to be talking about how to measure and target a target using a sextant. Now, a sextant is a navigational device and it's used for measuring angles between uh, different objects. And sometimes what it is is that you just can't approach an object or an object's too high to make it unreasonable to get there, and so we use a device like this. Now, what I've done is I've constructed a sextant, a really primitive one, out of some cardstock paper where I printed a um, a protractor on it. Okay, it's made with a uh, just a unbent paper clip. Okay, to use as a marker, as a pointer, and I have a straw taped along the top that's used for a sighting line. Okay, or a sighting guide. Now the way it works is that I can when when the sextant is sitting flat. I'm going to just change my focus here, so you can see it. Okay, so when the sextant is sitting horizontal, the marker, the plumb line, will be sitting straight down. And as you raise it, okay, what will happen is it'll show you how far, how many degrees you've raised it through. Okay, and basically what you do is you look through the tube at your target, and then by looking at the target, what you can do is you can see how many how many degrees you've elevated the the angle to and you can see how many degrees from 90 it's gone and then you can find out how tall it is from your target. Now there's another way you can use this and it's um, a very similar way and what you can do is you can use the line, you can use it in a horizontal fashion and you can point it at something horizontally and then point the other marker at um, another target and I can find the distance between or the angle between the two tar between the two targets that I'm pointing at. I'm going to use both of those methods today to demonstrate how you can use this um, to find the height of a distant object. Okay? Normally uh, you can do this by yourself but sometimes it's easier if you use a partner. Okay? And I'm going to illustrate how you can do this um, using a simple diagram here. Now what I have here is a simple situation where I have a little uh, Dax minifigurine and a Chewbacca minifig and their goal is to try and hit that barrel on top of the tower over there. Okay, now um, for instance they might not be able to cross the street for whatever reason, okay, but uh, it doesn't really matter. They're going to try and target it from that far. Okay, so you have a situation like this. Okay, so you got two guys. Now the way you set this up is that one guy sits right across directly across from the object okay, and his partner stands at 90 degrees to him. Now it doesn't have to be directly there but just directly across it so long as your partner stands at 90 degrees to you. Okay, now it might be a little bit easier to see what I mean or how this is going to work by looking at this uh, from the top view. Now from the top view what we can see is that we have a triangle basically formed between the barrel Chewbacca and Dax. Okay, and you can see that it's a right angle triangle. Okay, now what Dax can do is take his sextant. Okay, I'm just going to use my big one here. Okay, and line it up right at right at his center line. And what he's doing is he's lining up the target, the straw. Okay, so a sight line with Chewbacca, so it's level. Okay, so he knows that Chewbacca is 90 degrees to him. Okay, and then what he does, he turns the the marker to point. Okay, at the barrel. Okay, and I'm going to do this and see in, if I can get it to point right there. Okay, so it's something around there, I think. Okay, that's pretty close. And I'm reading at about 63, 63 degrees. Okay. Now the other thing that they're going to need to know is the distance between them because in order to solve a triangle you have to know the distance at least two side lengths or you have to know a side length and an angle. Now in this case uh, what we're going to do is try and find the distance away from Chewbacca that the um, barrel is. Okay, So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to count how many uh, squares there are or how many Lego pegs there are um, between them. And okay, I'm going to count Chewbacca's foot to, to start. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 to Dax's foot. Okay, so there's 15 uh, blocks between them.
Okay, so what we have is a right angle triangle drawn between Chewbacca, Dax, and the target barrel. Now, what we found earlier uh, was that this angle here was 63 degrees, and that this side here, this length, was 15 units long. Alright, and of course this is a right angle triangle. Now, what we can do then is we can find out that uh, tan of theta is equal to, um, actually I'll just move that over so we can read it a little bit better here. So tan theta is equal to, and I'll call this uh, D for distance between Chewbacca and the target, so opposite over adjacent. Okay, so tan of 63 degrees is equal to D over 15. I can mul multiply both sides by 15. Okay, and what I'll get is that D is equal to 15 times tan 63. Okay, and what that is, is 29.4. So D is equal to 29.4. And so by using some, uh, just a quick trig ratios, uh, we can find the distance between Chewbacca and the barrel. Okay, now the next thing uh, we're going to do to calculate the height of this barrel is that Chewbacca okay, would then use the sextant to measure how the angle between him and the floor and so between the floor here to him and back up to the top of the barrel. All right. So the way he does this is by putting the sextant there and sighting it along the lines. Okay. I'm just going to move the camera here so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so what we would do is we would sight along the edge here and find out when that met there. Okay, and you can see, or let me just see here, let me just, just line that up. Okay, so it's lined up right there. And if we look down, okay, we have about a 20 degree angle. Okay, now let me just bring this in a little bit closer. I'll just hold it there so it doesn't move. Now, if we take a look at this, okay, you can see it's not actually a 20, it's reading 70. Okay, now the reason why we have to look at it like 20, okay, is because if this were flat, okay, what would happen is that the, um, it would be reading at 90 degrees directly in the center there, okay, and as we turn it, okay, the plumb line will still uh, hang down straight. Okay, so if I turn it 20 degrees, then it's going to go 20 degrees off of 90 and read 70. Okay, so when I'm using this one in this vertical fashion that way, what happens is I need to look at it um, as degrees away from 90. So in this case, uh, it was raised by 20 degrees. Okay, and that's why it's looking at 70. So I've got my two measurements, and we'll see what we can do to take a look and see if we can figure out how tall uh, this thing is. Okay, now that we know the distance between Chewbacca and the target, what we can do is use the measurement to find out how far he is. And once again, we form another right angle triangle like this. And like so, to find out how tall the target is. Okay, once again, this is going to be a right angle triangle, and we found that this angle here was 20 degrees. Now, previously from our first measurement, we found out that the distance was 29.4 uh, units from Chewbacca to the uh, target. Okay, so what we can do then is we want to find out how tall this is, so H, the height. What we can find out is that we can use tan again, so we can say that tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Okay, and we can say that tan of 20 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is h, over 29.4. Okay, multiply both sides by 29.4. Okay, and those two will eliminate each other. And so we have h is equal to 29.4 uh, times tan 20. 
and h, we will find, is equal to 10.7. Okay, so now that we have our answer, uh, what I've done is I've posted this other Lego block beside there to see if we can see how many blocks up this is. So let's count. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it is 11 blocks up, which is pretty much in line with our calculations. And so you know, this definitely shows that using a sextant, uh, you can actually get a fairly decent calculation about how tall something is or how far away it is, okay, even with the primitive one that we've devised today. So hopefully that helps you to understand how to use a sextant to uh, find the distance between different objects and how to triangulate positions. Okay, and uh, that's pretty much it. So remember, if you like the video, then give me a thumbs up. And if you like these, these videos and this channel in general, then make sure you subscribe.